Alright, so here we have the Overlad TH2 interface. It's a little bit different to some of the other uh, AMP modeling software that you've seen probably. Uh, it gives you sort of this uh, two pane view and what this allows you to do is either you can move along using the top pane to get to the various parts of your signal chain or you can just simply grab and scroll along so if you prefer you can close that up. The smart controls across the bottom here are customizable so that you can set each knob or set a switch to control either a single knob, a group of knobs, a switch or a set of switches for uh, any part of your rig and then you're able to control that externally using a, a MIDI device. If you go to the top left here you'll see the factory presets. Each bank contains 12 sets of sounds and then within those sets you have eight different variations. Now you can see all of this if you click on search. So you can see there's quite a lot that come with it. So if I go to set one you can see there's a whole new set of uh, amps already set up for you. Now if you want to add an effect into the signal chain you just right click where you want to add it. Go to say chorus. Add your stomp. Choose your settings. Add another one. Take delay. There we go. And of course, you could add it after the amp. And also after the cab. Then you have this splitter box to feed your amp into two different signal paths. So you could uh, set up different um, effects for each one. and then mix them together here with the Mixer Pro and you can also add some rack effects after if you wish before it goes to the final output. Now if you look at the cabinet you can change to whichever cab you want uh, Randall for instance, 2x12 or 4x12 go for Brunetti 1x12 2 4x12 or the Brunetti 4x12 Custom. Each uh, cabinet comes with two mics. You can move the, uh, the mic up and down onto different speakers if you wish. Okay, now I'm gonna show you all the microphone settings. If you double click on a cabinet, it brings up a whole uh, number of windows here that relate to the microphone settings. First, you have your mixer here for mic A and mic B, which are these two here. You also have a rear mic and a 45 degree angle mic as well that you can blend in. Over on the left here you have your mic A model. You can choose from uh, a number of different mics here. Uh, they obviously don't have the licensing to use the actual product names, but you can kind of guess from the names that they've used. It also has in brackets whether it's a condenser, a ribbon or a dynamic mic. You also have the mic distance, that's the distance away from the speaker up to 100 centimeters. On mic B you have the same selection of mics but you can choose to invert the phase. You also have an ambience type whether you want to use a closet, dead room, heavy carpet room, live room or wooden room or you can choose none. And you can also use a high pass and a low pass filter. Finally you can choose from a whole number of different cabinets from a 1x12, 4x12 vintage, or various 2x12s. The Randall 4x12 George Lynch model, and a few Brunettis. Again, if you read the cabinet names, I think uh, you'll, you'll recognize what a lot of these are, like Tweed 59, uh, Vibro, Darkface, High Power, and uh, Heavy 51. There's also some licensed Randall 
uh, cabinets, such as the George Lynch and the Brunettis.